Hi, this is Ashley, and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic. And I just wanted to come to you guys to issue both a apology and to clarify some things that went down. So in case you do not know, yesterday Moonbyo released her first solo track from her solo album with Sulgi and Selfish, and I posted a reaction to it, of course. Um, and in that reaction, I had mentioned that there had been problematic things related to Mama Moo. And in that, I was basing it off of the knowledge that I had at that moment, which I have now come to learn was not the full scope of everything that was going on. And because of that, in the comments, somebody mentioned something and I had noted that Mama Moo had done something again and again. And like I said, through that comment, things have unfolded and thanks to all the Moo Moo's out there, they have informed me that essentially I had a gap in my knowledge over the situation that was going on and thus my reaction to the situation as a whole, the fact that they had done blackface in previous incidents was not fully formed. So as some of you may know, there was the blackface incident with Bruno Mars that happened in the past. Mama Moo apologized for that. And at the time I had accepted that apology. What I believe to be a second incident was the SNL incident in which um, there was the portrayal of a beggar, which when I watched it and from the consensus that I had seen, which a lot of you seem to think that that was mainly from Twitter, it was actually from Reddit, which is where I go to get more of the information. So when I had seen the skit, that's how it came off to me. It came off to me as a blackface incident. And I was disappointed since they had already issued an apology from the previous event. And that's why I was upset. And that's where my state of mind came. What you guys have informed me was that, that I did not have the full scope and that it was never an intention that that incident was supposed was a blackface incident. It was purely the portrayal of a beggar and where my interpretation came off um, as one thing that was not the intent and that's where the major disconnect was. And I'm sorry that because of that, I have essentially perpetuated this notion that Essentially, what I get the understanding is that a number of Moo Moo's have to deal with that there were multiple incidents with Mama Moo. And like I said previously, after the blackface incident with Bruno Mars, they apologized and I did accept it. So as far as I'm concerned now, now that I have more knowledge over the situation of what really happened with SNL, I have a better understanding of that and I'm not holding any of that against them. While I understand that my interpretation was one thing and other people did have that same interpretation, it was not the intention and it was not how it came off. So I have to take that also into my own consideration and I am not holding that against them. As far as I am concerned, Mama Moo has apologized and they've held true with what they have done so far. So I would like to apologize to those who said that I have been spreading lies when that was never my intention ever. I don't like to drag artists ever. Do I like to keep, keep them accountable? Yes, but if they apologize and they show with their actions that they're moving forward, which so far I'm seeing has been the case from Mama Moo, then I am more than willing to accept that apology. So I accept Mama Moo's apology, and I am sorry that I essentially perpetuated the idea that they did have a step back after the incident which they apologized for, which they did not. So I am sorry for that. What And like I said, this is a split between an apology and a clarification, because while I am sorry for that, I do want to make sure that I stand firm and clarify the fact that I did not delete any comments. I honestly, I woke up this morning and I saw tweets that were saying that I deleted comments, <laughs> which I never, never did. 
YouTube does have an algorithm where it will flag comments and they'll either be held for review, marked as spam, or completely deleted out. I have no control over that because I have the comment set on auto. It does it on its own. And what I believe most likely happened was that initial comment was flagged. And I don't even know if there were other comments that were flagged. I honestly can't see. I did go through every single comment that was there that I could see and I could reach and I responded to them and learned from what you guys have told me and tried to then take what I learned and explain to you what happened and essentially what you're seeing in this video. But I never deleted myself. I never deleted any comments. I don't delete comments from any videos. The only comments that I delete from any of my videos is if somebody is throwing an actual racial slur, racial accusation at myself or somebody else. Those are the only comments I ever delete. If you want to come at me, come at me. I would appreciate more if you tried to educate me because I do like knowledge and I like learning and understanding and getting a better knowledge of things. Like now I understand this entire situation with Mama Moo far better, far better. But if you want to come at me, you can. I'm not going to delete your comment. I will not unless you start just hurling, just calling me racist things or somebody else racist things. That's the only time it'll go away. But I did not delete any. It was a YouTube algorithm. I'm sorry if anybody was hurt by the fact that, that that something may have been deleted or flagged, but I I didn't do it. I didn't even know what was going on. I made the comment yesterday afternoon and I literally never touched the video, didn't look at it again until I saw the Twitter comment this morning. So that is the one thing I wanted to clarify. But again, I just wanted to note that I am sorry about anything that may have upset you guys. I do have a better understanding of this situation and I see them in a far better light now, now that I understand what actually was going on, what was the intention behind what I thought was another incident. And I, like I said, I am very sorry. You guys will see from the future that I'm going to take all of that into account and I don't, I don't want anybody to think that I'm coming at Mama Moo or I'm trying to spread lies or anything. That is not the case whatsoever. If anything comes out for me wrong, come tell me. I want to know. I want to know. I get misinformed. It happens and I'm always open to learning the correct side of things. So please just let me know. And if you think that I'm, that I'm ignoring you or something, don't tell me on Twitter because on my Twitter, I usually see it faster. The YouTube comments, I really only check maybe once, once a day, sometimes twice a day. So please, please, please just, if anything I ever say is not fully informed, please just let me know um, because I want to say things that are completely informed. I don't want to say anything that could be interpreted as lies because that is never my intent. But I'm sorry to anybody who may have been hurt by this situation. Um, I'm sorry that I was not fully informed and that I didn't go in and find out more information after the initial incident. I didn't look for any clarifications beyond it. I'm sorry, that's on me. But that's all I really wanted to say. I'm really sorry guys.